I'm going to do some random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I want to practice because soon there'll be a way to play online and I want to make sure that I'm comfortable getting those 28 tiles and making a quick decision because you have to make decisions in two minutes or the game will toss a tile for you. Yeah, I don't want that to happen to me. So I'm going to practice. If you have a set at home, you can do this too. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles are out. They have been mixed. Let's just say for these three random pulls that we are player one. So we'll get 28 tiles each time. Not too many honors this time. We do have two, four, six, eight in cracks. That's pretty decent. And then here we have an eight, four, six, eight. I wonder if we could play a pair hand here. Pair of flowers. Two, four, six, eight, and then pairs of eights. We're two away. We need either, let's see, two crack, eight crack, eight bam, two away from ready on a pair hand right here. I would go for that. And then down here, I think I would play odds. Probably big odds. Five seven nine. Five seven nine. I wonder. Five nine. Five nine. Five seven nine knitted. Maybe keep the dragons in case a knitted option comes in. So I think what I would do is throw those first. Play two, four, six, eight pair hand, big odds. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. If I had to pick a hand, I think I might play five, seven, nine knitted with red dragons. Yeah, that's a lot of discards there, but that would leverage multiples. So we would have 11 discards, but I would not pick a hand. <laughs> I would just stay flexible and gather five, seven, nine and dragons and see what comes in. But I would definitely play a pair hand here. If you would do something different for this one, write random pull one and what you would do with these tiles. And we'll go on to the next one. Look at all those winds. North, west, south, dragon. East and west go with green, unfortunately. Otherwise, I'd try north and south with flowers and reds. But I don't think that's going to happen here. However, you know what I might do? Let's see here. I was thinking of Quint. Let's see what we can do with the flowers first. Maybe. An addition hand. We have nine three eight four seven five. Nine three eight four seven five. Well here's seven five singles, seven five two singles. That's pretty weak. Uh eight four no two or one. Seven five one. That's a little better. 
still pretty weak. 7, 5, 12. Plus, look at all those discards. Unless we play a news pair hand. Okay, eight discards for this decision here. I think what I would do is play news consecutive run hand. Pairs, first one. N-E-W-S, one, two, three, in this case, three, four, five. News, three, four, five. News pair hand. And then down here, an addition hand with seven, five, 12. Hold this in case wins came in. Then I would do wins use this as joker bait. I would use this as joker bait regardless and discard those first. News pair hand, addition. Write in the comment section below if you agree or if you would do something different here. I might hold the seven for a potential with like numbers, with sevens and flowers. It's good to have options. Oh, and that's even the right dragon. Maybe that's what we should do instead. Make that plan A. Like numbers with sevens, hold this in case addition comes in. I think it's six, one half dozen the other. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Even, even odds. And it's same value. Write what you would do in the comment section below. Random pull two, and we'll go on to the last one. Okay, let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Consecutive run. That hand's kind of made in heaven right there. All we need is a five crack and a nine crack. We could pung that. Five through nine, consecutive run. Very first hand on the card on the right. Now down here, we could do a two, four, six, eight hand. Or we could do, let's see, uh, it'd be nice to use these. Let's see, I don't know if we could use those though. Look at all these pairs in here. I was thinking we could do a year hand, but we'd have to throw away two pairs and a pong. No, 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 we'll use them as joker bait. Joker bait. Two, four, five, six. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Let's see here about a two, four, six, eight and two suits. Two, four, six, eight and two suits. Two, four, six, eight dragon. Two, four, six, eight wrong dragon. This would need to be green dragons. Four, five, Six. Hmm. Okay, well, I would start by discarding these. Hold this for joker bait. Play probably a two, four, six, eight hand. And this would be joker bait too. Joker bait, two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking maybe if I had to pick a hand, probably second from the bottom two, four, six, eight, pong, pong, kong, kong. It's pretty light though. 
If we get flowers, I might be tempted to play a pair hand, two, four, six, eight pair hand. We don't have any gaps here, but we don't have any cracks. We're using the eights up here. I think I would just wait and see. I think probably I would throw these away first, then these. These could be used for something consecutive if we get flowers. There's a four, uh, three numbers in a consecutive run, third from the bottom under consecutive run, two flowers, and then three consecutive numbers, four, five, six, and then use this as joker bait. So I would hold that and see if consecutive comes in instead. Discard those first, hold those for joker bait consecutive run or two, four, six, eight here. If you would do something differently for this random pull, write random pull three and what you would do differently. You might be saying to yourself, if I get 28 tiles, I could really make anything work. Well, that's not necessarily true. There are intricacies involved and timing is critical with Siamese Mahjong. If you wanna know more, look for a link below the video to a demonstration and the rules. Find a friend, play the game, and let me know what you think about it. It is a lot of fun and it's very challenging. Thanks to Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.